Paul Manafort is in the headlines again. Paul Manafort is going to prison amid a barrage of criticism from people who say President Trump's former campaign chairman got off easy. A judge sentenced Manafort to 47 months yesterday for fraud and tax evasion not related to the Trump campaign. That sentence is far less than the nearly 25 years prosecutors wanted. Paul Manafort, sitting in a wheelchair because of complications from gout, said before his sentencing that he feels pain and shame, adding, my life? professionally and financially, is in shambles. That's right. Paul Manafort basically stole millions of dollars from the bank and cheated the government out of millions in taxes, and he's only going to serve 47 months. 46 with daylight savings. <laughs> and, uh, I've got to admit, it was really slick of him to suddenly show up in court in a wheelchair for gout. Yeah. Have you noticed how people always get older and more pathetic when they go before a judge? Like, Bill Cosby was out there doing his thing, and then they arrest him, and all of a sudden, he's like, I'm old and my eyes are blind, can't see, the bee, 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 boo. <laughs> like, showing up in court is like the opposite of a dating profile. You want to look as old and as sad as possible. <laughs> so Manafort, Manafort is facing 20 years in prison, and then he just rolls in, and he's like, I'm a broken old man. And then the judge gives him just 47 months. And we actually have exclusive footage of Paul Manafort in the courtroom immediately after hearing his sentence. They should have seen it coming. Moving on, while Paul Manafort got a fake sentence for a real crime, there's someone else who's looking at a real sentence for a fake crime, Jussie Smollett. A month and a half after the Empire actor reported a hate crime that police say never happened, Prosecutors are throwing the book at him. Actor Jesse Smollett is in more trouble this morning after a grand jury indicted him on 16 felony counts, including lying to police after he said he was the victim of a racist attack. Now, each one of the 16 counts carries a maximum penalty of four years in prison. Four years in prison? Wow. Look, I, I don't condone what Jesse might have done, but that's out of line. Like, I... I mean, first of all, you can't charge him separately for each lie, all right? It's all the same lie. <laughs> yeah, he lied to all of the police. That's one lie. When I was a kid, <laughs> if I stole something and I lied to my mom and I lied to my grandmother about it, I get one whooping, okay? <laughs> you can't get a separate whipping from each person. It's the same lie. <laughs> and if they're gonna start putting people in jail for lying to the police, they should lock us all up, okay? <laughs> yeah, you've done it too, every single one of you here. <laughs> Every time a cop pulls you over and asks, uh, do you know how fast you were going? Uh, the limit minus one. You know how fast you were going. <laughs> the only good thing for Jussie right now is that if he does go to jail, he's gonna be the toughest guy in prison. Because when people ask him what he's in for, he's gonna be like, I got four years for beating myself up. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> and finally, in some entertainment news, Michael Jackson, a new HBO documentary accusing him of child molestation has everybody shook, and some people have had enough. A new online petition is demanding Cirque du Soleil cancel its Michael Jackson One show. The demands are in response to the new HBO documentary, Leaving Neverland, which details accusations of sexual abuse against the iconic singer. Nearly 7,000 people have signed that petition. It is the latest backlash following the release of the new documentary. Some radio stations are pulling Michael Jackson's music and The Simpsons removed an episode in which he voiced a character. I was thinking, between MJ and R. Kelly, this is a tough week for wedding DJs. Like, <laughs> what do they play? <laughs> it's like, no, 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 no. I bet you they're probably calling up Bruno Mars, like, you better behave, Bruno. <laughs> right now, all I can play is you and the Black Eyed Peas. And you know, the, the tough thing about Michael Jackson is, even if this documentary changes your opinion of him, there's nothing you can do about it. He's already dead. Like, you can't get any more canceled than dead. <laughs> Although it would be funny if, if Michael is in heaven and God calls him over like, hey, Michael, so I saw the HBO doc and <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not comfortable having you right here right now. <laughs> it's 2019, this is not a good look, so I'm gonna need you to go to hell, okay? <laughs> And Michael's like, but God, you impregnated the Virgin Mary without her permission. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 